Did you know, Overwatch is a sequel to 2007 hit video game Team Fortress 2. Shortly after TF2's abysmal release, Valve Software, the developers of TF2, went bankrupt and needed to sell their properties to other companies to stay afloat. They sold the rights of their game League of Legends to Riot, the rights of the Half-Life series to Ubisoft, and of course, the rights of Team Fortress 2 to Blizzard. Blizzard began development of the sequel to TF2, titled TF2 2, immediately, aiming for a winter 2008 release. However, disaster struck. The CEO of Blizzard and number one World of Warcraft player in the Northern Hemisphere, Zezima, accidentally deleted the source code to TF2 2 two weeks before it was due to be released. For this great injustice, Zezima was forced to commit seppuku, and TF2 2 was completely forgotten about until eight months ago, when the new CEO of Blizzard, Kevin McAllister, remembered they owned the rights and made Overwatch himself in RPG Maker XP in two weeks. There is a great deal of lore behind the heroes of Overwatch, in particular Bastion. Bastion was built by a crack team of scientific minds from a variety of different groups, primarily the Nazis, in a group effort to make the most racist robot ever. They succeeded in their efforts and created the world's first neo-Nazi robot built to kill anyone who doesn't have pure blood. The hints behind Bastion's nature are in-game in his voice lines, after you translate them from binary. For example, this Bastion line translates to, I wish the Holocaust actually happened. This line attracted significant negative backlash towards Blizzard from family groups, who requested Blizzard remove the line from the game. When asked his thoughts on the controversy, lead game designer of Overwatch Jeff Kaplan replied, Who are you? How did you get in my house? Please don't hurt me. Overwatch contains many hidden unused files in the game's code, especially sound clips, model files, and concept art alluding to a mysterious 20-second hero by the name of Sneeko. Sneeko is from the peasant country of New Zealand. Sneeko would be completely invisible and have a one-hit kill knife to defeat enemies. Sneeko's ultimate attack would be him taking a quick bump of cocaine to improve his speed and knife slashing ability. Aside from that short description and picture, all of Sneeko's files and game are corrupt except for the voice line that would play when he was using his ultimate ability. I'm here to my fucking mind! Sneeko was removed from the final version of Overwatch because he was fucking terrible. Overwatch contains many references to other media. The title of the game Overwatch is based off the object called a watch, which is a small clock carried or worn by a person which makes it easier for them to tell the time. The map Hollywood is a reference to Bollywood, the Sinic Dockle name for Indian cinema, which is based off the word Hollywood, which is the name of a neighborhood in Los Angeles that contains a lot of movie studios, which is a reference to the map Hollywood in Overwatch. The map Hollywood in Overwatch also references one of the Overwatch heroes. That's all for today. Don't forget to subscribe to Did You Know Games on YouTube and wait another six months for Mopoyed to make another fucking video.